The Molecular Neuroscience Group and the Laser Analytics Group work closely together and we study neurodegeneration using optical techniques. In diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and Huntington's disease, there are proteins that misfold and aggregate. We want to study um, how this happens, but we also want to understand where we can target along this pathway uh, with drugs to prevent Alzheimer's disease. We've developed a fluorescence screening platform and this uses the model organism C. elegans. So C. elegans are very easy to grow and the genetics are well known so we can modify them and they also have quite a short lifetime so we can study neurodegeneration and ageing together. In Alzheimer's disease there is a protein called amyloid beta. When we overexpress this, this prevents them from wiggling as much. So we want to use our platform to correlate the wiggle with how much protein is present and the aggregation. We do this by making the C. elegans genetically modified and we use the green fluorescent protein tagged to the amyloid beta. Our screening platform images the fluorescence lifetime of each of the worms and when we feed them small molecule inhibitors which prevents the aggregation of the protein we can see whether there's a difference in the fluorescence lifetime. So this gives us a really quick readout to show whether there are hit compounds in the libraries that the chemists make for us. This uh, fluorescent screening platform is quite high throughput because we have what we call worm hotels where we incubate hundreds of worms so that they stay alive over their whole lifetime and we're hoping that using this platform we will be able to screen hundreds and thousands of potential inhibitors. There isn't such a platform that can screen in whole model organisms this quickly. So hopefully we'll find a potential target that can go on into clinical trials.